So if you've just downloaded and unzipped the version dog demo version, uh, just open up the folder and double click on version dog launcher. Now the first thing we're going to have a look at is the user client. And when you first look at the user client, there seems to be quite a lot to take in. Um, so rather than explaining all the details first, I'm going to show you what it's like once you have learnt to use Version Dog, what your daily working life will be like using Version Dog. So here we have a demonstration project tree. Um, you see everything is greyed out here because Version Dog's a client server system. And these are all projects that are on the Version Dog server but not on this client. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at an extremely simple project. This has been deliberately put in here to make it possible for anybody who has this launcher to actually work through this without the need for any editor uh, to be installed on their PC. So the first thing we're going to do is get this project from the server to this client. Right click, check out. Here it is selected for checkout, and there we have it. That's the project. This is its history, its change history so far. Double click to open it up. It opens in Notepad so anyone can follow along with this. We're going to make a very simple and straightforward change, but something which you might not necessarily spot in the middle of a sea of characters. Change the language from English to Spanish. There we go. Close it. We can see that the project's been edited here. And we're going to create a new version. This shows now the comparison between the previous version, version 3, and version 4, the version we are creating now. Just that one character that was changed is highlighted. And because this comparator has been designed to work with Inease, it's showing that the difference is in the common section. So I'm going to write here this was change request 5098. And the change that we made was. So create version and check in. And now we can see version 4. And now this project is available to everybody else who has rights to access it. Now one of the great things about version dog is that you are using the same workflow for all your devices and all your automated equipment, all your programming projects. This was just a demonstration that you can follow on your own computer, whether you have any editors or not. Um, but if you do have the editors for these projects, we have prepared some dummy projects for you to play around with and see how the process is exactly the same, no matter which one of these you're editing.